In today's video, we're gonna talk about what happens to the body when you get really, really lean. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Rabella from ProPhysique.com. It's Saturday afternoon. First things first, I apologize for not getting some videos out this week. I was on a really good roll being very consistent with video uploads, but I didn't have Chad Nutter with me this weekend. And this weekend was USAPL Raw Nationals in Orlando. And I went over there on Wednesday night. So ever since I've been there, I've been super focused on clients and being a part of the event. And without Chad there, well, I'm sorry to say that it was impossible for me to get footage as well as enjoy the event, as well as keep up with my job. So I'll throw in some clips here. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through? that are just some of the stuff that I got from the meet. I did a lot of stuff with Instagram stories. If you're not following me on Instagram, at Paul Ravella, I, I feel like if I don't have a videographer with me, I can just post up some stories about what's going on if I'm an event like that um, and still kind of stay in the moment. Whereas with the videos and whatever, you guys get it, you know me, I just don't do super well with um, doing lots of videos when I travel. It falls down the wayside, but I love me some YouTube. So this is a video, it's Saturday evening, and I don't care, I'm uploading this sucker now because I'm about to get to work. Because it's been a crazy week. So schedule means nothing to me, gotta get it done, right? But <clears throat> I made a post the other day on Instagram and um, it brought up some memories and it's something that I cover quite a bit with my clients that get very, very lean. And there's just some physiological changes that happen to our bodies when we get very, very low in body fat. And so I wanted to talk about some of the things that, um, that happen so that you don't feel like something is wrong, okay? So that you understand that it's completely normal. Um, I've covered some of this in my videos a while back, but you know what, it's good to just keep doing refreshers. So let's do that. Let's talk about some of the things. So what, I'll cover some of the things that I think we all understand. So when our body fat gets low, we all kind of know that this is gonna happen. Hunger, right? Hunger signaling is going to be a lot higher. You're going to constantly be hungry, perhaps even hungrier after you eat. You're never going to feel full. Um, you know, the leaner you get, the lower your calories get, the more activity you're doing, it's just going to continue to get worse. We as competitive athletes or people that want to get shredded for photo shoots or weddings, whatever may be your goal, we kind of understand that. We go in knowing, okay, we're going to have to deal with some hunger. And that's a mental game we can play with. We can, we can deal with that. But there's some other things that happen that even myself, when I first competed 10 years ago, I didn't realize it until like the second or third time I competed that these things were kind of a consistent thing that happened to the body. But now I know a little bit more about physiology and I've got more experience as a coach and as a competitor. So outside of hunger, which is the biggest reason that you're hungry is because leptin levels are very low, right? So the body wants you to eat to put on more fat so that it doesn't die. That's the body's mechanism, right? So some other things happen. And this is a constant question I get is, hey coach, I feel like I'm constipated. Deep into prep, hey coach, I feel like I'm constipated. So the first thing I have to say is, okay, are you experiencing any pain? No, I'm not in any pain, but I usually, I usually go to the bathroom, you know, number two at least once a day, sometimes more, and it's been two or three days, right? Well, this is the magic of the body. So the first time I noticed this was, you know, my first prep that I wouldn't go number two for three, four days sometimes, and it would be uh, much different. It would be super clean and, you know, 
I thought maybe it was just because the way I was eating. Turns out the body is very adept at extracting calories and when you get very lean, the digestive process can actually change a little bit. So yeah, your body actually slows down the digestive process, extracts more calories. Combine that with the fact that you tend to be eating generally more whole cleaner foods, you'll get some reduction in the frequency. Um, I've noticed that using refeeds really helps. Uh, my friend, Dr. Joe, I've, you know, I've asked for his help on this because you know he's got 20 years of experience coaching people and um, he gave me a great tip that I've been using with my clients and it's really helped and that's called sugar-free citrus cell, right? So that helps people stay regular. It's not necessarily a fiber issue. It's not necessarily constipation. It might just be that you're so deep into prep that you now have a reduced frequency, okay? Another one is gonna be cold. I feel cold all the time. And most people associate this with the fact that you're so low on body fat that you actually don't have the insulation and that may play a role. And then you combine that with a lot of people will say they get dizzy when they stand up. Okay, so if you get dizzy when you stand up, it's because of low blood pressure. Why do you have low blood pressure? Well, I believe it also combines that to make you colder because you have low blood pressure. So why, and this happened to me quite a bit. Um, I noticed this the first prep for sure. <clears throat> Each time I, I reach a certain place and from, from exercise physiology, one of the things that we learned about was some of the adaptations that your body goes through. And so your body becomes more efficient at pumping blood through the body. So because we're doing cardio and we have lower body fat, we're lower calorie, our metabolic rate slows, we actually require less energy to operate the heart pumps less frequently. So think about this, if you're sitting still for a long time and the heart is pumping less frequently, it's not moving blood around the body quite as much, keeping you warm. Also, when you go to stand up, you'll be a little lightheaded sometimes because blood is not being pushed. So I learned during my prep um, that I should, before I was gonna get, say I was laying on the couch or say I was sitting at work for a long time, I would force myself to sit up a little bit and before I stood up and go, I would kind of just, you know, move my extremities and, and get myself going, get my heart pumping. And that helped alleviate the problem. Um, I've actually stood up and been so dizzy I had to put my hand out before because I was so lean. Um, and going to the doctor, my resting heart rate was so low that they had a problem checking my pulse. You know, they, um, they had to check it multiple times. So yeah, there are some like strange adaptations to being extremely good shape. Um, would I consider that healthy? Probably not. When your body fat is that low and your resting heart rate is that low, it's not necessarily healthy. But my goal wasn't to be the healthiest I could be. It was to be the most shredded bodybuilder I could be. And it was a temporary phase and I pay attention to it and I make sure I reverse it and come out of it properly. So yeah, it's not like something I would suggest for everyone to do, get completely shredded. But the, the people I'm talking to in this video, we're not talking about 10 or 12% where you start to see some abs. I'm talking about where you diet and get uncomfortably lean, where you're pretty much always hungry, always cold. Um, and then let's talk about the, the next one, and that would be mood perturbance. And, you know, we, we all know that we get a little grumpier when calories get low. And, you know, I've been around my friends that are prepping, you know, my clients that are prepping, and I get to talk to their loved ones. And sure enough, they say, yeah, so-and-so is being very short with me. Yeah, so-and-so is, you know, snapping. And I say, well, that probably means we're getting close to being stage ready. You know, th th that's the place where, you know, hormones can kind of really impact our mood. And yes, I have been super guilty of snapping on people to the point where I would actually avoid conversations, especially at work, because you don't want to make your hobby at the time, bodybuilding was my hobby, I didn't want it to have impact on my professional career. So I would make sure that I was not short with people that I held my tongue because yeah, mood was probably one of the biggest. So those are the three that I want to talk about that you don't always experience until you get to that body fat level where, you know, calories, body fat are all extremely low. Um, now the fun part about that is that you see crazy details, striations. Um, and so like, like my man, Danny, I'm going to use him for the thumbnail today. I've just been texting with him. Danny is competing today in South Florida and it uh, looks like he's going to do very well in classic physique as well as men's physique. And then, you know, I got my man, Brian competing out in Utah this weekend 
and uh, Jill's competing um, and Nancy's competing. So all of these people I've been talking with over the last couple you know, weeks, months, they're competing today, and, but I, I know they're experiencing all of this. And so it just, it's been, it's been a video that I wanted to do to discuss some of the stranger things that happen that are just normal um, for being super lean, right? So that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I wanted to keep it a little bit short, but I had to get a video out. It's Saturday, but I miss my YouTube family. So again, I'll jump on there. I'll get on the comments. I know I've been slacking a little bit, but again, priorities, guys. My, you know, my coaching is numero uno um, ahead of my, you know, putting out content for you guys. But that's why Chad Nutter is coming with me to NPC Nationals. I've got a bodybuilder, I've got a classic physique, I got a men's physique, I got figure, I got bikini. So it's gonna be a really great weekend down in Miami. I got my camp next weekend. Holy cow, I got like so many people coming in. Katie Rutherford, Dr. Joe, Ryan Doris, George Rosado, Bill Campbell. It's just gonna be an awesome event. Um, and so many good things are going on. And then two weeks after that, the Yorton Cup, then my bodybuilding show. Uh, the USF show, and then, oh, if you guys aren't watching or listening to the podcast, we just recorded a podcast with Dr. Bill Campbell for Redefine Healthy Radio. They're doing research on refeeds at the University of South Florida. My homegirl, Danielle Aguilar, who was my lab partner at USF for a couple classes, is going to be running the study. She's in the grad program, so just more awesome people doing awesome stuff. So yeah, go check out the podcast with Dr. Bill Campbell and Lauren Conlon and myself. It's on iTunes and on SoundCloud. Cause we got it like that. All right guys, I'm gonna drink some more caffeine cause I got work to do and I'll talk to you tomorrow.